good people what is going on happy saturday i was gonna say happy friday happy saturday welcome to another episode of the all go podcast uh talking about the new england patriots today um so the patriots had their first preseason game uh yesterday and um both joe judge and matt patricia called plays uh during the game and the senses or the word is is that Matt Patricia is going to be the actual offensive coordinator Joe Judge is going to be the quarterback's coach if I'm not mistaken and they're going to roll like that starting with Bill Belichick I am just not quite sure how you ended up in this predicament Um, I think everybody was pretty sure that Josh McDaniel uh, was going to take a head job, get hired somewhere, move on. And the fact that you don't have a capable offensive coordinator or what most would assume capable offensive coordinator is just beyond me. Like I get that you had the the Tom Brady time and you you essentially could do almost whatever you wanted because Brady was just that good and, and would mask all of the the flaws or most of the flaws with the team but he's been gone for a while now and to continue this this operation this way to where it's just kind of like a whatever type of deal I just don't understand it um it's it's almost an ego trip to where and maybe this is just me projecting on Bill Belichick but it seems like it's an ego trip of well I'm just I am good enough doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who's the offensive coordinator. It doesn't matter anything. We're going to be successful either way. And I just don't think things work like that in the NFL. Um, you know, the Patriots had a good year last year, made the playoffs, lost in the playoff game. And even if they have a similar performance from last year, their schedule is a lot more difficult this year. And also, you're missing one. J.C. Jackson is gone. Um, so you're, you're talking about a a huge defensive piece, a really talented guy who's no longer there anymore. And I I just don't understand why you would let it get to this point and that you are, quote unquote, figuring it out. Like that is what he said in the postgame presser. And I get to hear Eric Mangini on First Things First talk about, well, this is a process. Yeah, Bill's right. This is a process. Like, yeah, coach, this is a process. But it's one that every other team has figured out already. The Patriots are the only ones figuring out who's going to call plays. Like, it's, it's asinine to be in this position about three to four weeks away from a football game. Like, and, you know, there, there's, to move it on to Matt Patricia, there's reports that Mac Jones has been confused more this training camp than he was his training camp as a rookie. Why is that? Probably because Matt Patricia is ahead of the offense. Now, if you're not a Detroit Lions fan, you probably don't know and probably didn't care, but Matt Patricia was our head coach for a couple years. He was abysmal. Everything about the Lions, well, everything about the Lions when Matt Patricia was, was here was awful. The players hated him. The media hated him. The fans hated him. Uh, just his smug nature, the stupid pencil. Like, come on, man. You write on a laminated play call sheet. Why do you have a pencil? It's just, it's silly. Do, am I supposed to believe that the Patriots organization and the Lions organization doesn't have pencils in those offices and meeting rooms? Stop it. Um, just not a, everything was bad. And, and it just seems that the pattern of Bill Belichick, you know, coordinators seems to be, all right, I make my way on up through the organization. I'm the OC, the DC. Then I take that coveted head coaching job, and then I flame out and come crawling back to the Patriots organization because I can only be successful under Bill. That is, that's what the pattern has shown. Um, I think McDaniels has an opportunity to not have that situation, but that's what it seems to be, and Matt Patricia is no different. I don't think he's, uh, the, well, he may literally be a genius, um, but as far as 
him just coming in and rolling out and just being a, an offensive coordinator and dominating the league, I just don't see it. Um, you know, I, I, I get it. There is an aspect of when you're a defensive coordinator that you break down so much offense, you know different, you know, offensive schemes that can hurt different defenses. But, I mean, Josh McDaniels lived offense, lived it for years. And to think that somebody's just going to flip the switch and now be a, 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 the offensive coordinator that's going to launch Mac Jones into superstardom, I just don't believe it. And also, too, when he was a defensive coordinator, Bill Belichick called the plays. Bill Belichick always calls the plays. So call me not shocked at all that the Patriots offense has been looking abysmal, and it's probably going to be a disaster of a year um, for the Patriots. And as an Alabama fan, I'm sad for Mac Jones, but not all that sad for the Patriots organization. So uh, we'll see what happens, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be it. Anyway, that's it for me. Appreciate it. Peace.